What's going on guys, VicVP back with another Game Case Arcades Project Smart video and real quick an update on what's going on in 2020. Cowabunga! Let's kick shell! Pizza power! I know I'm an MIA, don't worry, I'm still around, we're still building arcades, but I kind of had to focus on the main part, which is the house. Real quick before the video starts, I gotta be, yeah. Real quick before the video starts, I gotta give a big shout out to my little cousin, Joe. Check him out, we got Bay Kicks New York. He's selling clothing, he does merchandise, he's doing shoes, he's doing the whole nine yards. Check him out down below. Fam likes to help fam out, we support each other. I got you, little Joe. You're gonna see a lot of t-shirts and stuff from him. Really cool stuff. Maybe we could get some arcade artwork on one of his shirts. So now real quick again, I've been a little bit MIA. We're finalizing this house. It is almost done. So real quick for my Project Smart people, we got this thing decked out with Alexa everywhere. We got a bunch of sewing off switches going on. I'm telling you, Alexa, she almost controls everything in this house. Um, videos coming up, sewing off switches. People want to know about the projector. People want to know about a surround sound. The whole entertainment theater room that I will be setting up in here. We are literally in our final stretches. I mean, we're talking like finish line is like a week away. Paint should be done. I got the mud room down here. We got the laundry room going on. The last thing that's gonna be happening in this place is my garage, really the workspace. That I can't really wait because we do have a couple of arcade builds to do. And I can't wait really for this part to be done. Real quick, we're gonna bring you that's really the most important area. I don't know what to call it yet. Dr. Disrespect got the arena. I mean, the paint color I was gonna choose on this was gonna be called Mission Control. I was gonna call it Mission Control, but then I swapped out the color because it was too dark. But basically, we almost do have our battle station up, workstation, almost done. I'm telling you guys, the content that's coming to you guys, at least for arcade builds and the Project Smart, it's gonna be coming to you heavy within the next week. Now, real quick again, there's been a lot of work with the house. We got a lot of dust going on, but I just bought in a couple of deliveries that I got. These are some very important deliveries. We got, eh, I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek real quick. So real quick, just a couple of sneak peeks. We've turned the camera around. You guys don't like selfie mode, I know that. But I've been, we got a couple of our basic stuff. This is my personal stuff going on here, such as the surround sound subwoofer. We got our MSI screen display for my desk here. I got a couple of things going on here, doing a little bit of touch up painting, but big project going on here. Basically, we're gonna be putting two displays on the wall. We got one here and I have a surprise display for that one here. We do have an actual um, build in our hands. It's actually, I have about four builds coming up, but this one specifically going out to Eugene in California. He's got two builds coming up. He got me this one here, which is a game room solutions control panel. And when he's back from his little trip, we're going to be working on a bar top PC hyperspin build first ever I will be shipping out a complete bar top plug and play system. Never done that before and I can't really wait to do that. This video we are gonna open up his package just so that he knows I got it and just to make sure that everything's good and all that. A little sneak peek as far as project home and like kind of decor kind of stuff. I do have this big, I believe it's a six foot wide, um, no it's not six feet. I don't know how many feet, I kind of forgot right now, but I think it's about five feet to six feet wide. Very big thing. I have a carbon vinyl wrap, and just to kind of give you guys a little sneak peek, basically, I'm just gonna give you one little sneak peek. You guys let me know what you think that's gonna be, but basically it's gonna be insane. A little bit of decor for, don't know what to call it yet, mission control area. So that again is a little bit of a sneak peek, what's going on, where I've been. But real quick, we're gonna focus on this real quick as far as an unboxing. Uh, we're gonna work on our lighting a little bit. Again, we are still in construction phase. But basically, this is a kind of unique one. Kind of already got my Amazon supplies for us here. Um, this one, again, straight from California. Uh, let's put the camera down. Let's hopefully we get a good shot out of this. To kind of put up the camera, as I do want, as far as like the next, like, you know, for this year, I do want a lot of like aerial cameras. That's what we're gonna be doing with the new build, with the new workshop. I'm gonna have a drop down overhead camera just to kind of see what it is. But basically right now we're gonna unbox the package that Eugene has actually sent me. Um, I do like to unbox live on the camera just to show people what I've received and how I've received it. And let's see what it is. Looks pretty good so far, Eugene. Good job on 
I was a little nervous. I was afraid that you did not pad it, but it looks pretty good, man. You did good. You did the padding on it. Just open it up a little bit, and I can tell you a little bit of a background to this. Interesting. Oh, I thought it was my uh, I thought it was my control panel artwork from a uh, Street Fighter that I did back in the day for someone. Looks good. Good packaging, buddy. We're gonna keep it packaging. We're gonna save it. But so far, as you can see right now, it does look amazing. It does look like it came intact. Let's real quick go over what Eugene has his issues with. This did come from Game Room Solutions, um, pre-wired, pre-set, pre-made, running a pie. He has an issue saying that he believes that the there's a lag to it when he's playing with the joysticks. It's like a very big delay from the actual action. Um, very interesting. I'm gonna have to honestly, I don't know why, but this looks very similar to my artwork that I made. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna probably load that up real quick. We're gonna see what's up, but it looks like they, you know, some pieces have been added. This actually had my logo here, Game Case Arcades. Eh, I'm not disappointed. It does look, it is a good piece of artwork. There you go. So. Uh, we're just gonna unbox this real quick and then I'm gonna tell you what the plan is for him. What's going on guys? Real quick, I had to load up this video. I'm gonna cut myself short right in the middle of this. It looks like the files that you saw that I was talking about on the control panel, they are in fact mine. Um, if you wanna skip towards the end of this video, we're gonna do a whole desktop record right now. I'm gonna show you that those are my files. I'm not upset, I do sound kind of upset, but you guys let me know down below what I should do. Should I confront Game Room Solutions on it? To me, I'm a little bit upset, but I'm at least happy that people do enjoy the artwork, but at least give me some credit, guys. Again, go to the end of the video, and you'll check out more on this. I'm sorry, guys. Again, be sure to follow me on Instagram, at VigVP. I don't want to make this sound like I'm... God, I can't share a card. I'm a little pissed. I'm going to flash it real quick. This is, and I'll show you the Photoshop file, but as you can see, Ryu, look at my logo up top, Game Case Arcades with the crew, Ken on the right. Take a look real quick, play as a boss. Do I have a close up of, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash it on the screen. It's going to look way better than that. I just posted this on Instagram. The story, but yep, that looks familiar. Again, there it is. The Game Case Arcades logo is covered up by the Street Fighter 2 logo. Capcom, I literally put Capcom in that corner for that reason. I wanted to represent Capcom. Oh, it's all right, guys. It is A-OK. -okay. I'm glad people are enjoying the artwork, but damn, give me some credit. <laughs> So as of right now, we do have the cabinet out of the box. We're not throwing it to the side again. We're not doing a full video right now. We're just going to check this out. But I did, I mean, I, I don't know if he shipped it like this, but let's just hope nothing broke in it. Okay. We have one of our hinges. Not a big deal. We just got to kind of re-screw it in. Um, but that's okay. We could definitely fix that. We could work with that. Not a big deal. Yellow T-molding. Pretty nice stuff. Again, this was, from what he told me, this was shipped directly plug and play from Game Room Solutions. They don't have the, they didn't give them like the actual buttons, like the the stickers, so we will hook that up for them. They do have kind of the written layout. I'm just amazed by the artwork on this. It's very, uh, very similar to mine, but it's okay. It's all right. Like I said, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to fix the. Um, we're gonna fix the the hinge on this. It's not a big deal. Again, this is running a Pi, so his issue is that again, his encoders. He believes that there is an issue. We do have a Zinmo running on it, um, so that's usually what I've always done. We will load up um, Ryan Game Room Solutions, kind of. Uh, stuff to it we will test it and i mean as far as my end what we're going to be doing to this 
we're basically going to be adding a Pandora's Box 9 3D in this. So it's going to be two systems in one. Pandora's Box, the Raspberry Pi, they will both work seamlessly. Basically, he will be able to turn on each individual one. We're going to hook them up with the switches. And again, basically, it's the same joysticks, the same controls. It's just going to be talking to two, two separate systems. Again, just going to bring it in a little bit. Like I said, we could fix the hinge. It's not that bad. We'll just have to re-screw it in. We're just not going to play with it too much. But, I mean, again, I'm going to probably flash my kind of um, artwork that I did. I remember I did it at the Capcom logo. The big thing was this. If you do notice this, see this? The four new players. And the right arrow is like to nobody. I did that, I believe. I mean, again, I don't want to showboat. I don't want to claim it. Let's focus here on Zangief. We were underneath that. Very similar. Like I said, right here, I did have my game, uh, game case arcades uh, logo here. Up here, I had the Street Fighter crew. It was like a, a big kind of group picture with I believe my logos were up here. I'm not sure why there's a big black stripe here. Interesting. No hard feelings, I don't mind it. I just kind of do believe that this is my artwork. Um, play as a boss, I, I put that, I know I did. The punch, the kick. I'm gonna, I'm, I mean again, I did copy a Street Fighter 2 arcade cabinet. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because again, I don't wanna prove myself wrong. It's all right. I'm happy that some people do like the artwork and that's awesome. Um, I'm telling you, I, I literally put Ryu and Ken opposite Hadoukens and I put it right here to make it look like the button was the Hadouken. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, well, there you have it. Oh, I did have a coin. I don't know if I put coin up here. Okay, we're gonna have to look at that. No worries, no stress, no hard feelings, no foul play. It is A-OK. -okay. People love Street Fighter. I love the artwork. There you have it. Vic VP, a game case arcade. I couldn't put it away before I had to re-drill it. So there you have it. No worries, Eugene, we got this. This is A-OK. -okay. We are good for opening and closing. No harm done. Looks good. Zinmo intact. Very nice stuff. We got our pie. And again, we're just going to play around with it. I'm going to still give you Ryan's uh, pie image and I'll give you mine. Very smart putting the ball tops in there. And looks okay. Everything looks good. There you have it. And another request. This is kind of a unique kind of cool thing that he has the idea of. Again, going back to what I said, he does have the hyperspin build. He did send me, I believe it's two or four Xbox One controllers. And basically we're gonna right now hook up his Xbox One controllers to work with the Raspberry Pi. And I'm also gonna be giving him my Pi image. This way, just in case it's Ryan's image, again, I don't know anything about it. Um, he'll have two images basically. I'm gonna send him another SD card to that. So let's just see real quick. Got a little note, I didn't read this. He's got a whole breakdown, very cool stuff. Good job, Eugene. He's got two of them. Two of the Xbox controllers have made it to me. So basically players one, two, and the Xbox controllers will be players three and four. Awesome stuff, not too bad. And again, this is one of two for him. Uh, again, a little upset that the hinge kind of came out of this, but we could always bring it back. It's no big deal. I just wonder if that happened during shipping, but it was very well packaged, so I gotta give them that. There you guys have a quick update. We're gonna put this back in the box so we don't collect dust in this, and basically we're gonna get the ball rolling on this. Right now we are currently waiting on our Pandora's box, and from there, once it gets in, I'll be able to work on it. So real quick, like I said, it turns out these are my files. I'm gonna lower OBS. I'm gonna, break, I'm gonna basically bring you guys in to a desktop kind of screen capture. Let me show you real quick. This is the one that I made for a customer. I don't know if I have a date stamp on this, but as you can see, there is my logo. 
right here game case control panel edition on the top up here like i was saying to you before i did have street fighter characters up here and i do have my logo here um again a couple of zoom in again what i said here with the four new players i knew i i put that and i was like oh you know there's something off about that zangief the over circle going over zangief's head on this you can see that right here um let's take a look if i have a close-up as you can see play as a boss is right here with the perfect cut even up here look at that i, I forgot i had that look at that that's my at vig vp that is my instagram handle and that is why you see on that control panel you see the black line across it and again there you go there's a nice zoom and i just posted this on instagram because i was like this looks too familiar um, as you can see, my, my colors do a little bit, look a little more vibrant. It's not because of my camera settings. I just know that when I do take pictures for that, again, I did make a big deal about Capcom, but let's real quick load up the Photoshop file. This is my Photoshop file. You can see it here, Street Fighter 2 control panel artwork. You can see all of my layers right here. Literally, if I start taking stuff out, you could literally see these are all my personal files look at that um and it's to the t guys you can see it again play as a boss you can literally see if i zoom in again png files ryu ken the whole street fighter gang that right there is blacked out he does have this whole play mode thing going on <sighs> Like I said, it's it's a thing of, of beauty to see it. I remember this. I literally had to cut these three because the fingers are up. As you can see, the three rings are up. Um, I knew that artwork looked a little bit too familiar. Right down here, I do have the Game Case logo. On this one, I mean, again, I don't have it here because I use this like if somebody wants to use it as a bar top type of control panel and all that again this is the original template and again same thing i have all of my legit files my layers are there the overlays are there and, and there you have it again this was let's see the date on this is there a date on this uh november 27 2018 12 megabytes this is the actual photo file um this again, this is the one that my first ever control panel. This is Ryan Gaming Solutions artwork. This is not mine. At least I would assume it's Ryan's. This is my stuff. You could always find it on my YouTube channel. You'll see a lot of the builds. But this one, I mean, I definitely put a lot of hard work into that one. I literally sat here. I did all, no, the shadows I did not do. I even have the original files. Let me see if I could pull that up real quick. I even have the original files that I used right here. Look at this. See this right here? This is literally the individual files. This is the actual... There it is. Look, this is me removing all of the characters in here. I couldn't even put the Vega in. That's the logo I used. That's the team group chat right there. This is the artwork I used. It basically took a nice slither out of this and was able to expand my control deck for this. And real quick in that picture, you could actually see the straight square that I had to cut that and then make it, you know, I had to lift up the, the strong to fit the thumb. And just some more artwork I did. The only thing that honestly scares me is that I spent a lot of time on this one look at this one guys real quick i'm going to show it to you and i really hope this is not on his site because this one i spent a lot of time on this is my retro kind of artwork here all the layers here you could literally see on the right this is literally all each individual png file of characters you could see as i'm removing them i'm pointing at the screen as if you could see me pointing at the screen but that right there that took me about a week to do and the other side that was the left this is the right and i've done two personal builds with this artwork 
And there's another one. Like I said, you can see all of my layers are right there. And again, it's each individual character you see here that is their own individual PNG file layer. Look at that. I mean, again, you guys let me know down below what you think I should do. Um, I mean, again, I'm not going to make a big deal about it, but at least, like, give me some props. At least put my videos, like, on your website, but there you have it. I knew that artwork looked too good to be true. I'll see you guys in the next one.